All right, shalom, y'all, shalom, y'all. If y'all watching, I'm here with my man, Ron Stallings. Uh, you know the routine. I'm going to get everything up and going here. Um, make sure all the... Um, all the sounds right and everything's good to go and then we are gonna get things going with this interview uh our man ron stallings as you know he was successful he brought home the w for the for the hebrew community you know we very proud of him um but like i said i'm gonna get things up and going here i'm gonna share this video if 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 uh if everybody could do the same, go ahead and share this video. And while I'm getting everything up and running, uh, y'all can enjoy this music. So let me get the music going. All right. So yeah, y'all go ahead and uh, go ahead and share the video. And uh, I'm going to be sharing it here on my end. And there we go. And we'll get started with the interview momentarily. Y'all give me thumbs up if the sound's good in there, man. If, if the sound's good, uh, give me thumbs up or, or, or put a one in there. Put a one in the comments if the sound's good. That, that will help me out a lot. Like I said, if you're just tuning in, uh, our boy Ron Stalin, as y'all know, he was he brought home the W for the Hebrews. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna interview him, talk to him about the fight. Um, talk about. We're gonna talk about uh, how it felt to win, and uh, and uh, before we even got started, he was just talking about the amazing uh, support that the Hebrew community showed him, man. And uh, we're just real proud of him, man. All this stuff we're seeing Hebrews doing all types of stuff out here, so it was real good. I got a one on the sand. Right. Shalom, y'all. Shalom, y'all. If y'all just tuning in, I got my man Ron, Ron Stallings here. He's going to talk about the, uh, the victory he bought home for the Hebrew community. Um, so we're gonna be interviewing him about his uh, the victory he got, and uh, we'll be getting started here soon. If y'all can share the video, I'm gonna let people get up in there, um, and uh, you know I'm gonna let people get up in there before I get started. I'm sharing it. Y'all share it. Be awesome. All right, we're getting ready to get started here soon. All right, shalom, y'all. It's your boy Michael Israel here. You're watching Spiritual Combat, and I got my man Ron Stallings here. As y'all know, he did, he uh, had a fight on uh, on Friday. Uh, in the CES 52 um, mixed martial arts uh, fight. It was uh, televised on the Access Channel. And uh, he was one of the main event fights. And as you know, he brought home the W. So 
So dad says yeah. shalom, brother Ron, and congratulations on bringing home the W, representing the brews out there with, with power and authority. Shalom, oh, so brother. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. I appreciate the support that the community showed. I yeah. felt it in there. And um, so, so uh, how'd you feel being out there? I know you had a, a, a long layoff. How'd you feel out there? Because you look good out there. Yeah, um, the I guess the layoff, um, I, I had some different emotions going in because just not being in there for a while. But uh, uh, I, I won't say it was a nervous feeling, but it was like I need, I wanted to get in there and you know just I wanted to do everything right. I didn't want to mess up with nothing. So yeah. it was like, um, I don't know. I guess a little pressure, but you know, I, I like pressure. You know, it builds that. That builds some uh, some good character, now, you now, know, having a press on your back. Now, now if you could uh, talk about what uh, what me and you were talking about before we came on about how, like, a lot of people think you just go in there full of adrenaline and just go crazy. You know what I'm saying? But talk about the 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 control that you have to have and budgeting your energy and all the strategy that goes in if if you could. Yeah, so um, you know, always I, I learned this early on um, in a career that um, you know, at the very beginning, you know, everybody is just cock strong. Mm -hmm. You know, it didn't take much of anything to um, to get you know get laid out. You know, just for that nervous energy. So you gotta be you gotta be a uh, uh, um, careful in how you you know engage. You know, so you know I, that's what I did. And I take that lesson with me. So. I went in there just try to fill things out, see what's going on, see what openings I could create, um, see if I can see any like um, tail signs, any habits, that kind of stuff. So okay. that's what I go a little bit slow to start off with. And um, and and how as an opponent, like how was he? He's pretty competitive. He's pretty strong. What'd you think? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was strong. Uh, brother man was strong. <laughs> He, um, I felt, um, it was some, I guess, like in the first exchange, when he swung, I felt the wind. Like, I got the wave, I felt that wind. I was like, oh boy, you better make sure you keep your hands up. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be asleep. <laughs> and then when he, uh, a couple times when he got in on my legs and, you know, got takedowns, like, usually, I, you know, I, I can get up or do some maneuver and that kind of stuff a lot faster than what I did, but. You know, his strength was a factor, so I had to, um, I had to, you know, uh, adjust and make sure I don't burn myself out, and um, you know, so I can, so I can still execute what I need to do. Yeah, that that was awesome. And uh, it so at, when you got uh, the win, I because what I tried to do, I tried not to really call you or anything, because I knew after you got the win, you'd, you'd be real busy dealing with a lot of, I guess, family, friends, and all that. So I'm sure, you know, you got a lot of congratulations and everything from everybody. Are you going to be fighting in that league again? Um, Most likely, I mean, uh, I talked to the uh, the president. He said, you know, he's going to be calling me to bring, um, bring me back. So, you know, um, look forward to that happening if that uh you know that that opens up and there's some there's still some other options coming up it wasn't like um i'm not exclusive to that league so maybe another league might call or you know uh even you know i was i really wanted to get a finish because that would have really put me in um in a good spot to get another call back from the ufc okay but even 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 with this like you just never know. So like my my first uh, call up, somebody can get hurt, and they're like, "Man, can you can you uh, come in uh, um, short notice?" So now I gotta now that I'm not just competing Friday, so I'll I'll take maybe tomorrow off, and then I get back in the gym uh, Tuesday, and you know just kind of maintain a certain level of um, you know cardio. And, okay. You know, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we we uh, uh, um. The thing a lot of people commented about was, uh, you know, the the uh, of course you had on the Derek Sidler necklace, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You had on the 
the uh the Yaz Army shirt. I yeah, mean that was fitting, boy. man. You was repping it hard up there, boy. Oh, yeah. I, t- I told that I was like, man, it's gonna look good on me with my hand raised. So I was like, yeah, because I, I messaged him because he, uh, you know, he had been posting pictures. I was like, man, I want that, and I must have forgot or something like that. So then he posts another picture with another nice necklace. I was like, oh my good man, I, like I want that one because um, I would look good, um, you know, repping in uh, in the cage, and I wanted to see if he can have it up in time. So I don't know if he did a rush order for me, man, but he hooked me up. So, yeah, that's how they're <laughs> good, man. Them, them, them things just appear on your on your doorstep. You know what I'm saying? You get them up there yeah. quick. But um, now uh, if we now how do we if we want to see the fight? Like how do is there a way we can see it? Or some, is it online yet or anything? I'm not sure. Um, I know uh, maybe on a on demand option for Access TV. Mm-hmm. I know up here. I know up here, um, not everybody gets access TV because um, it's like you know, we got the two main uh, cable providers are Xfinity and um, and uh, Verizon Vios. So if you got Xfinity, you don't get it. Uh, Vi- Verizon gets it. Oh. But uh, also they have some online services like you know I do the online streaming stuff like uh, Sling. They have um, they have uh, access. So it just depends that if Axis puts this fight on um on a, on their on demand options. So 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 there, there's no way to get it from CES. I, you know I'll try because I um I try um, when I was supposed to fight with them a couple times before I uh, put a request for a fight because I wanted to see the opponent I was going to go and I just never got one so I don't know. And oh, okay. It's about it says something about uh, the rights belong to um, the cable provider. So, oh, I okay, I got you. Now, I, I I did I saw one part of the fight where I guess you had the dude's head and you were going like that with it. What was <laughs> is that some new move I ain't up on? Or um, what was it? You know what? That's uh, uh, everybody's been asked about that, but uh, uh, um, that's like the um, that's just me being in the um being in the gym under some amazing coaches like that. I, I didn't make that up. I, you know, my coach is like, he showed me that some years ago. To disorient coach, him? He, he showed me that. And it was like, you know, we, we you know, it's, it's like some veteran tricks. But, yeah, it's just um, some little little things just to, like, the, the, the fight is physical, but it's also mental. Mm. So we're trying to, we're trying to, um, you know, disrupt their thought process and everything. Okay. Wow. Uh, even, or even fatigue, fatigue the neck a little bit. So now, you know, maybe maybe you get to the third, well, I did get the third round, and you got a tired neck, you got tired legs, your body's <laughs> beat up. So that's a lot that you got to deal with, and it's like you know doing a little bit, putting little bits of uh, um, attacks on 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 your opponent, so you know you can uh, collect later on. Yeah, like John, body shot, pretty much. John, John Williams just gave the move a name. He called it the head banger move. <laughs> but yeah, I was wondering about that. I I seen that. But um, so what? So what are your uh, future plans? Short term, um, long term, whatever. Yeah. Uh. So pretty much still, still train and look for um, get these, get the uh, get these spice. <laughs> my son. Just, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, my son just came in the room. <laughs> okay. Did he now? Now was he watching the fight? No, nah, I don't think he. Um, I don't think he. Nah, he didn't watch the fight. He's probably asleep. Cause, well, I, I probably went on like around. I probably went on like around ten thirty or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, they was probably asleep. My, my um, my parents were probably uh, watching them because uh, my wife came up to the fight. But um, they'll probably uh, if I can get if I can get that replay again, they'll they'll watch it. I'll show it to them. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna work on trying to get it. It's, uh... You know, because I didn't, I, I seen pictures and parts of it, but I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't get to watch now, the whole thing. There might be, um, I saw somebody, um, posted something. There was a link. So there might be a link somewhere uh, on YouTube. So I'm, I'm going to check that as soon as we get off. Yeah. Well, the pre, I, I know the prelims were on Facebook and we were, you know, we all sitting, we think we got the fight. 
and then it's coming up to your fight, and they were like, "You gotta go to the channel to watch it." We were like, oh. "Okay, got gotcha, you. Okay." <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, man. Um, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. I know, I know, because I, I contacted you earlier, and I know you had, you know, the family wanted to spend time with you, so I didn't want to cut into that too much. But congratulations on the fight. Uh, and, I and, uh, that. One of the brothers that. here said he he watched uh, one of his fights on YouTube. So uh, Ugo uh, Ugo said congratulations. I, I think I appreciate. Should, thank you. Yeah, he he's a he, he's a good uh, Hebrew teacher. I was talking to him earlier today. But yeah, oh, nice. man. Uh, but yeah, the whole community's gonna be behind you. You know, next fight. You know, as soon as you know about it, let me know, and we're gonna get you a ton of support. Cause that's how we do out here. Everybody supporting everybody on whatever they doing. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate that. But uh, with that said, did you have anything else for for the, all the people watching? No, um, just other than you know, thank y'all. Appreciate the the prayers and support. Like I said, I felt that in there. And, um, you know, it was uh, going in. You know, I had all types of mixed emotions just because you know it's having it's been like two years. Yeah. And I didn't want to disappoint. I definitely didn't want to disappoint. Then I know that everybody was like, you know, watching and and pulling for me, and that, you know, I was safe. My my opponent, he walked out um, safe. Everybody, everybody was safe, and you know, I got the victory. So all praise most high. Yeah. You know? And 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 people, I think I think everybody was just proud of what you've already achieved because people, you know, like you've been in the UFC, you've already achieved a ton, and you're continuing to achieve. So. I think everybody's just proud of you anyway. But, yeah, congratulations on your win. And uh, enjoy your short period of time off. And then I know how it is. It's back to work. So Yeah. All right. So that's uh, Brother Ron, Choir Boy Stalins. As you know, he got the win in, in, in his mixed martial arts fight in CES 52. And uh, congratulations to him. I'm Michael Israel. You're watching Spiritual Combat. And Shalom. Shalom.